You appear to have somebody with you. Jessie, who have you brought up here? This is the lovely Luke McLean, and we think he's absolutely incredible. <gasps> Luke, welcome <laughs> to the show. You really weren't expecting that, were you? No. I <laughs> Luke, have you got any ideas why the girls might be here? Little bits, nothing. My secret squirrel cameras doing naughty <laughs> things, but for good reasons, I promise you. Here is why Luke got a musical tribute from Little Mix tonight. Luke grew up in a really deprived area of Birmingham. A lot of the kids were involved in truancy, drugs and crime. But Luke wasn't like the other kids, he was always looking out for others. Yeah, when Luke was 14, I was um, nominated to go to uh, Malawi um, in Africa. And when I came back, after all the poverty and everything that we've seen in Africa, he touched me and he touched Luke as well when I spoke to him about it and he decided to start something to raise money. To begin with, Luke got together some singers, dancers, actors to perform in a variety show. As soon as the word got out, everyone wanted to be involved and it just got very, very big. Well, after the variety show, Luke had come to me and said, oh, we want to start a youth club. And it just grew. Young stars started from. I was so proud of him. You know, he was just this totally different teenager. He didn't want to go out, walk in the street. He just wanted to spend all his time at the youth club, making everybody happy. Young stars is very inclusive, no matter what age you are, ability. A lot of the children have their own complex needs, but somehow Luke manages to reach out to them. I like Luke because he always helps me and he's a really good friend to young stars. I recently had a brain operation and Luke was by my side the whole time. That's why he's amazing. When I first started young stars, I, I had a really bad stammer, but thanks to Luke, my stammer hasn't been that bad anymore. Luke will work from 8 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. He's not paid for it, it's all voluntary. He constantly runs around trying to find new ways of funding the group. One of the biggest challenges is for them to actually have a permanent place, really. Last year, the Astro Centre that is used for the Young Stars group was burnt down. It was obviously a massive blow to Luke, as he didn't have thousands of pounds to go and replace all the equipment that was lost. He was devastated. He came home and said, like, where am I going to run the club? He didn't give up though, did he? No, he didn't give up. And um, he said, I can't let the kids, I can't let the kids down. Whatever happens, he bounces his stroke back up. He won't stop. Luke is amazing. The kids absolutely love him. A lot of the children wouldn't be where they are today without him, and I think that he has changed a lot of the children's lives. He's really devoted to his work. It's helped him. I'm proud of him. I really am. He's just amazing. Definitely the perfect son. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Young stars. Yeah. What sort of things do you do and get up to there? We run a theatrical group, so it's drama, singing, dancing, acting. Yeah. Um, I can't do any of them, mind you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but the kids absolutely, absolutely love it. They, they just get so much from it. I think when you get to come and watch a production or something that they've worked so hard mm. for, um, and they do have to work really hard to put them on, um, to watch it at the end of it is just amazing. Absolutely brilliant. OK, well, I sent Little Mix to the West Midlands to become honorary members of the Young Stars. This has all been going on behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what happened. Hi, Lou. Guess where we are? That's right. We've come to Castleville to catch up with a few people you may just recognise. The, the Young Stars! So just through this door, the kids are dancing, and they're pretty good at all. Go! out a bit to someone you might know. Do we all know Luke? Yeah! Do we think Luke deserves a prize? Yeah! Is he a fan of Little Mix, do you think? Yeah! Good answer. <laughs> so, what makes Luke so 
special. He's like a dad to us or a grand or part of the family. A granddad. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's about 26. <laughs> So can you dance? No. No, why? What does he like? Can you do an impression? <laughs> That's not a good dance. That's not good. So are you a better dancer? Yeah. Little mix were wonderful and I really good. When I put this, I'd think I was a bit little mix, but then I did and it was amazing. It was just incredible. I loved it. I can't believe it. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> We love you, Lou! Oh! Well, go, Lou. Can you be the little mix? We're actually there. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you very much oh, for it's it's going our to I think what's even more impressive is that those children kept that a secret from you all this time. Right, so we get back there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jade, what was it like paying a visit to the club? Oh, it was absolutely amazing, wasn't it? The kids were so cute. And I think going there just really illustrated how much those kids just absolutely idolise you. Yeah. They worship mm -hmm. the ground he walks on. You've changed their lives and I just think hats off to you. Yeah. Well done, <laughs> But Perry, the last 12 months haven't been plain sailing for the no, club, has it? There was a fire and a lot of equipment got damaged and stuff like that and mm -hmm. everyone was just absolutely devastated. Well, Luke... Surprise, surprise, because we wanted to help you with that. And Toshiba are providing the club with all of this. Take a look. You've got two 50-inch TVs, five laptops, two tablets, and two <laughs> All out for you to take back to the club. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Will that make a difference? A massive difference. Yeah. A huge difference. And, and more than that, since the fire, you've also been struggling to find premises, haven't you? We have. You know, I keep trying to talk my mum round to letting us all come use her house, but she's not having none of it. <laughs> um, so, without a permanent base, um, where are you running the club from at the moment? Uh, we run it from everywhere. We're like one minute uh, at the local swimming baths, next minute we're down at the school. So, we, we run it all over the place. Here, there, and everywhere, but missing okay. out is not an option. Definitely not. Definitely well, not. actually, we might be able to help you out with that, can't we, Jade? Surprise, surprise. Thanks to Castleville Tenants and Residents Alliance, you've got the Castle Pool venue for a whole year, rent free, for whenever wow. you and the young stars need it. So there you go. Oh <laughs> that venue there for a year, rent free, so you don't need to worry about raising any funds for that. It's going to make a huge difference, I imagine. Massive. You probably don't believe how much a difference that's going to make. Massive difference, thank you. Yeah, oh, thank you're more you than welcome. Much. Well, Little Mix, thank you so much thank for being you. here. And a huge <laughs> round of applause for Luke. Thank you. Well, join me after the break for more inspiring stories.